everybody. Welcome back to Urban Rush. Now, I keep on hearing the term biodiesel, but I'm not quite clear on what it means, so why not bring someone here who can explain it better than we can? Yeah, Jack Lee is for refuel management. We're going to talk to him about biodiesel. First of all, environmentally kind biodiesel, is that what it we're is, talking It is, it is, yes. Okay, what exactly is biodiesel? Let's start at the basics. Well, biodiesel is any, any product that actually, or biodiesel is the organic uh, diesel fuel. Okay. So diesel fuel is anything that can be combusted in a diesel engine, so biodiesel comes from organic derivatives. Distillates, oil companies make out of petroleum products. So you know, typically when we hear diesel fuel, it's from the oil companies, but it's actually really a distillate. Okay. We call it diesel fuel. Okay. So, so something bio, that comes from the oil. And yeah, the so biodiesel comes from organic uh, sources. Like what kind? Uh, it can be grains, oils, uh, uh, reprocessed, uh, rendered fats, mm -hmm. uh, recycled uh, fats for cooking oils. And is it more envir environmentally friendly because it's not burning carbon, or how does the environmentalism come into Correct. it? Correct. There's less, there's less carbon in the oils than there is in the petroleum products. Okay. Okay, so people always want to be environmental and t uh, make environmental choices. What kind of cars can use biodiesel? Uh, cars that are, have diesel engines. Okay. And so, so any diesel engine can any, take this kind of... Uh, any diesel engine can burn a, uh, biofuels. Now, uh, of course, the gasoline engines can't. So, right. so it must be a diesel engine, which there's not a lot of cars that have diesel engines. There's a few uh, in, in Canada and North America and but Europe. But there's a lot of trucks. Industry runs on diesel. Really? Correct. I, I had no idea. Like, there's no mo modifications to the engine or, or anything else? No, no, there's not. Because uh, some engines will burn 100% bio products. So you'll have some engines can run a, you know, vegetable oil. Right. Uh, most uh, engine manufacturers don't recommend that, though I think Volkswagen says you can use 100% bio. Uh, most like to have a blend of the diesel or the petroleum product and the bio product. Now, uh, does weather play into whether you can use biodiesel or not? It does, uh, especially in uh, in Canada, uh, where it's colder. Uh, all all fuels have what they you know viscosity they call a pore point. So your biofuels, if you think of animal fats, think of your uh, think of your bacon on Saturday morning. Bacon, bacon, and bacon, bacon, and it, and it goes all hard. Well, the same thing with oils. You put your okay. cooking oil in the fridge, it gels or it won't pour. So where the temperatures are cold, you can't use uh, your biofuels 100% uh, because they'll just clog up your, and your engine won't run. Can you use parts biofuel? Correct. And what we do with uh, some of our customers in the winter time, they'll have what we call B5. So that's 5% biofuel and then 95% petroleum distillate. Nice. Plus, it sounds like a vitamin, which yeah. is really good as well. Take your B5 and it, away you go. It, uh, it will not kill you if you drink it. <laughs> okay, we've got some footage uh, of everything in action. Maybe you can tell us what it is uh, that we're looking at here. Uh, we're picking up product here at, I believe, West Coast uh, uh, Reductions. It's mm -hmm. in Burnaby, uh, Vancouver. And they actually collect cooking oils from various restaurants. And they also do rendering with animal fats, and then they'll they'll make a bioproduct out of that. So when you see those things in the alley that say cooking oil only and yes. things like that, that's where they're collecting the, stuff. They will collect that, then they reprocess it. I had really? no idea that's yeah. where it went. So that's so only, that, that, oh, there it is right there. Yeah, I see. So that's only one source. So that's that's right. actually a good source because it's it's renewing. It's a, it's right. not, it's a product. It's a waste product and they're making use of it. It's burned, it burns a lot cleaner, as you talked about before. Yeah. And so I think that's a real good use of What other sources result. are there aside, aside from that? Uh, well, uh, out in the Atlantic province, they're using fish, fish oil. So I don't know if that's anchovies or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're totally doing that, it's whatever they go. Yeah, and, uh, but the most common source is from grains like uh, soya, uh, canola. Oh, I see. And that's where the biggest production is happening in North America and in Europe. So what are the barriers right now? Because people are just starting mm -hmm. to hear about biodiesel and things like that. What are the barriers to uh, people actually being able to use this product? Is it distribution? Is it availability? What is it? It's availability. Uh, there's, I'm only aware of uh, two sources where you can buy domestically buy a blended bioproduct. And I think it's uh, Cascadia Fuels. They have a service station in Delta yeah. uh, and one in Burnaby. So is it one of those situations like organics five years ago where it sort of, as it becomes more popular, it'll be more, more available, available and, and cheaper to produce and all those sort of things? Correct, yeah. Now, I, I remember a time when people used to joke that we would uh, run our cars on garbage, vegetable oils, all that sort of stuff. Um, this is dude, like, dude, that was back to the future. I know. <laughs> was it was the DeLorean. But seriously, it used to be a joke. But this is actually coming into fruition. With the diesel, again, we must, must uh, understand most people have cars that have gasoline in yeah. it, so it can't confuse right. the two. Now, there is ethanol blends that go into gasoline, a different subject, but right. uh, it is bio, a bioproduct into uh, you know petroleum fuel, which... Uh, you know, it helps prolong, if you like, our non-renewable resource called petroleum, 
and also reduces the amount of uh, uh, emissions. carbons yeah. emissions. Right, carbon emissions. So uh, I, I know the one thing that I was when I was reading stuff. That there's a bit of a controversy because uh, one of the sources of bio uh, fuel or biodiesel can be cropland and taking crops, turning them into it. So how do you sort of balance that that idea of environmentalism with using crops to you know that could be used for food production? Well, I've I've heard of that one many times. I, I suppose most of us fly across Canada quite often or once in a while. Fields of rain. Yeah, fields, and there's thousands and thousands and hours and hours of flying over non populated land. So we have no shortage of land in Canada. Yeah. Uh, even if we grew all the grain, you know, we wouldn't have the, the ability to get it to the people who need the food, anyways. Right. So there's no, there's no shortage of land, number one. Uh, I think we have the, the most fresh water in the world, so we have land and we have water. Mm -hmm. So there's ample land to grow for fuel as well as still have ample land to grow for food as well. Nice. And are there any byproducts in the production process, like when it's actually being turned from cooking oil or grains into uh, biodiesel? Are there any byproducts from that process? Yeah, well, if you can imagine squeezing grapes, I mean, when you have the, uh, the, um, the canola oil, you'll have the husks and everything else, but they'll be uh, organic and they can just be used as mulch right. and they're biodegradable. Very cool. Now, if people want to find out more, where can they find people like you so that they can make these kind of choices? Well, if they, they Google biofuels, yeah. number one, they can get a ton of information. You know, from here and in the states and everything else, uh, for stars. The the biofuel industry is in, in embryonic stages in uh, in BC. Right. Yeah. Uh, the municipalities of BC have pioneered it. I guess they're going to say is do as I say, not as I do. Right. So they had an initiative uh, two years ago, and they put a tender out uh, for supplying bio uh, biodiesel into all of their facilities or making it available to all the municipalities. I think at this date there's about 20 municipalities that are using biofuel, so oh, nice. we, we go to these people here, we pick up the biomass, we go to the oil companies, pick up the fuel, it mixes together, blends it, and we deliver it into their, uh, into their tanks. So Parks Department in, in Vancouver, a lot of fire stations, uh, UBC. Uh, are, are using there these products. Well, thank well, you so much, Jack. Yeah, great information too. If people are looking at buying a car, maybe diesel will become more of a more of an idea for them. They sure. look at manufacturers that make diesel cars. Thank you so much. That's thank very you. Interesting.